Hello, it's Andy here, and welcome back to my walkthrough of the 2019 SANS holiday hack. In the last video, we discovered an anonymous ransom note from February 2019, and now it looks like the author might be delivering on their threats. In Objective 3, we find out that the Elf University systems are under attack. First, let's quickly swing by the train station and help Bushy with a quick terminal challenge. Someone has loaded up the text editor Ed on Bushy's machine, and now they can't work out how to exit it. This is a callback to last year's holiday hack, where the first terminal challenge was to exit Vi. Ed is another fairly unintuitive text editor, but a quick check of the manual page online tells us the command to exit is just the letter Q. With the terminal challenge complete, we can shift our attention to the main objective. We're given a Windows event log in EVTX format, and told that the Elf University domain has been subjected to a password spraying attack, and we're tasked with finding out whose username has been successfully compromised. Password spraying is a type of brute force attack. Traditional brute force attacks try to break into specific accounts by trying lots of different possible passwords. But this is easily defeated by locking out an account if it has too many password failures within a short period of time. So, password spraying tries to get around this by instead trying to break into any one of many different accounts using one or two commonly used weak passwords. We can therefore detect password spraying attacks in log files by looking for lots of failed logins against many different usernames, all of which originate from the same source IP address. If we open the log file we're given in the Windows Event Viewer, we can indeed see lots of failed logins, but also some successful ones too. Unfortunately, the format of these logs and the default event viewer application are pretty rubbish at giving us the necessary tools to filter and query the events. Our reward for helping Bushy escape from the ed editor was a hint that a tool called Deep Blue CLI might be useful. This is a module for PowerShell written by Eric Conrad, which examines Windows event logs for a variety of suspicious activities. Let's give it a try. The tool is written in PowerShell, and by default, PowerShell scripts are restricted from running. This is to help avoid unwitting users fall victim to PowerShell-based malware. So, after downloading DeepBlue CLI, we must explicitly permit it to run. This command permits any PowerShell script launched in this specific session to run. The script takes a while to analyze the log file we provide it, but then produces a big long list of information. There's multiple entries highlighting likely password spraying attacks, including a list of the user accounts which were targeted. The script also provides details of successful administrator logins. One account, SupperTree, appears on both the password spraying targets list and the successful logons list, so is likely the one which was successfully compromised by the attacker. The identity of the attacker and what they did next is still a mystery. Maybe we'll find out more in the next objective in the next video. I'll see you there.